Hello. I want to talk about three basic concepts with you on direct examination before you do your first direct. The first one is structure of the exam. The second is form of the question. And the last thing is um, how to make a good question the best question. So first let's talk about the organization. The things you want to do organizationally on direct. <music> You want to introduce your witness, you want to set the scene, and then you want to talk about the action. When you introduce your witness, you want to convince the trier of fact that this person is believable and has the knowledge to speak to the trier of fact about the subject matter that they are going to address the jury about. When you set the scene, sometimes we think of scene, we think of it was on the corner of Northwest and Park. And often the scene is a physical setting where something happens and we need to set the scene before we get to the action. But I want to remind you that often the scene is relationships between the two people and that before we get to what happened between two people, we need to understand what the relationship was between them. And then ultimately, what we've all been waiting for, you get to the action. And how do we do this on direct? What form of questions do we use? We use open-ended questions. Who, what, when, where, why, how, please describe, tell me. And that puts the focus on the witness, not us. They're the star. And they're the one that does the telling. Right? Now, we can ask a good open-ended question this way. We'll say, what did you do last night? And that's an open-ended question. But our witness may look at us and think, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I did a lot of things last night. So I want you to think about this when you're asking an open-ended question, is to put enough information in your question to let the person you're examining know what you want them to talk about. For example, if I were to ask you what you did last night, you might tell me you went out to dinner. But if I said to you, what did you do last night to prepare for this class? you'd know what I wanted you to talk about. And that's our goal when we do direct on our witnesses. Now, we have to get from one subject to the next, and, and from one topic, and from one scene to the next. And the last thing I want to talk about then is something we call a signpost. Right? And that's how we give our witness direction to know that we've finished talking about one topic and now we're prepared to move on to another topic. If I'd finished talking with you about what you did last night in preparation for today, I might want to now take you and say, I want to now talk with you about what you did two weeks ago when you first got the materials. All right, so we're going to talk about that. That's a signpost. I'm telling my witness we are now done with what happened last night and we are moving to what was done two weeks ago. And those are three basic concepts that I'm hoping will be helpful when you start with your first direct.